Look, what Matt Damon said to Alfie Brown was simply racist. He may not have intended it to be, but it was. And my first video on the subject of Matt Damon saying to Alfie Brown that the concern is not diversity behind the camera, but diversity in front of the camera. And then some of you commenting that what Matt Damon was saying, that he's trying to pick behind the camera the best person for the job, and that my point saying that because he's white, he's going to pick someone white is not correct. He's trying to pick the best person is wrong. No, you guys are wrong. First of all, let me explain why you're wrong. We're not talking about sports. We're not talking about, say, the NFL Combine, where you want to determine who the best passer is, and so you say, okay, here's Jameis Winston and Marcus Mariota, and you put them through the same drills, and it's quite obvious that Jameis Winston blows Marcus Mariota away during those drills, okay? Because that's what happened. I mean, they say ball don't lie, right? Camera don't lie. That's what happened. We're talking about a situation in entertainment where the maker of a story that's going to be told, a producer, is white. And in that person producer's mind, they have a view of how they want the story to be developed, essentially told. And more often than not, that white producer is going to select someone who is a white director, white storyteller, etc., etc. All of this is subjective. So when you say to me that Matt Damon is talking about picking the best person for the job, you forgot to fill in the blank. The best person that Damon thinks is right for the job. That Ben Affleck thinks is right for the job. Okay? That's all subjective. And that's why I said... And I say that blacks, whites, Latinos, Asians, minorities should work to have their own businesses in the fields of their endeavor so that they can call their own shots. So that they have a better chance of realizing their own potential. Because you're not going to get it waiting for someone who's white to tell your story. More often than not, it's not going to happen. It's... it's Sad to say, and I'm not saying, oh, white folks are racist and all this. Look, let's take color away from it. Let's say that it's an older black person who has a job, a great job, a high job. And I remember my mother's friend, my mother's friend's mother said, are all of you going to give up your jobs to someone who's bright and young and black? And the collective answer was no, because they've got what they want and they don't want to secede it. This is true in a number of examples, all right? The bottom line is, that's why people say you have to schmooze and or you, if you want to smooze and booze your way to the top. But that's what it meant. You have to, to charm people to get what you want from someone because more often than not, unless you show them some extraordinary political skills, they're going to pick other people they're comfortable with. No, this is all subjective. And history shows that more often than not, and that's why we have laws to curb racial discrimination, that if someone white is in charge, they're going to pick someone who's white. Generally, if someone black is in charge, that happens less often. So even when the black person owns their own company, the bottom line, but the bottom line here is this. You cannot avoid racism. You can't ignore it. It's there. And if you don't want it to be there, then you have to say to every, to whites who are, have power positions in entertainment, stop putting in people who are white just because you're comfortable with them and start spreading the wealth. I mean, good luck with that because you have a lot of producers who start their own production companies because they want to call their own shots and they want to say things and they want to tell stories the way they want to tell them, not necessarily the way that you as a person want them to be told told want them to be told that is why Tyler Perry started his own production company that's it now the ideal situation is something that Willie Brown the former San Francisco mayor and former California speaker pointed to you count racial heads that's what i do and the companies i formed have always counted racial heads how many 
blacks, Asians, women. When I first started sports business, when I started my first company, excuse me, sports business simulations, the majority of executives and professionals were women. And yes, white. Because I wanted a situation where I was comfortable with someone who would argue with me and tell me that I was wrong but also have the sensitivities of a female and would stop and listen and collaborate in a, in a way that a man would not. But that said, our top board members, Dan Rasher White, Mark Anthony Jones, Black. So overall, we had an incredible mix. My board, Fred Davis, White, male, my advisory, my, my advisory board, excuse me, I can go on with, and others were white male, white female, Asian, a very healthy mix, but that was by my design. I insist on that, okay? But I am, while there are people like me, I am still not the majority in terms of thinking. It's changing, but it's not there. And when you see something like what Matt Damon said in the environment he was in, I don't have to go any further than to point to what he said in that environment and what came out today.